know your is code provisions a short lecture series on tall building code that is is 16700 2017 so in today's lecture i will discuss about natural modes of vibration that is clause number 5.5 let me share my screen yeah so section 5 that is general requirements in that clause number 5.5 natural modes of vibration. So before going into the de details, let us understand what is the definition of say natural period, natural period. So what code says is the time taken in seconds by the structure to complete one cycle of oscillation in its first natural modes of, uh, well, first natural mode of oscillation. So in uh, say a tall structure, there will be many uh, modes of vibration. So what, uh, what code is defining is in the first, so first natural mode of vibration. So to and fro motion, one cycle. So it starts from the uh, equilibrium position on towards right side and completes, uh, comes back to the uh, center position and again goes towards the left side, again comes back. So that is one full cycle. So time taken in seconds by the structure to complete one cycle of oscillation in its first natural mode of oscillation. Then let's come to the clause. <clears throat> so what clause says, clause says is on natural modes of vibration. So let's look at this carefully word by word. The natural period of fundamental torsional mode of vibration. So the natural period of fundamental torsional mode of vibration shall not exceed 0.9 times the smaller of the natural periods of the fundamental translational modes of vibration in each of the orthogonal directions in plan. So it, it refers to each of the uh, fundamental translational modes. That means translational mode, X direction, Y direction, and it is referring to the torsion. So the clause is between like the torsion, torsion clause, it means torsion mode of vibration, shall not exceed 0.9 times. Let's, let's look into the details of it. So let's take a, a building, so as an example, tall building. So X axis, Y axis, and Z axis, along Z axis, about Z axis, there is torsion. So just as an example, so let's take T1, that is a fundamental mode in, in translation X direction is 2.7 seconds. And fundamental mode uh, of vibration in Y direction, that is TY1 is 3.2 seconds. And then T theta, so that is around about Z axis means not along Z axis, about Z axis, there's torsion, twisting, twisting. So T theta is equal to 2.54 seconds. Now let us understand this clause. What it says, that is torsional mode of vibration shall not exceed 0.9 times, the smallest of uh, Tx1 and Ty1. So when we look at the values, Tx1 is 2.7, Ty1 is 3.2, that means Tx1 is less than Ty1, so Tx1. So T theta, that is say 90% of Tx1. What is Tx1? 2.7 seconds. So 0 0.9 multiplied by 2.7 seconds is equal to 2.43 seconds. But what code says here is, torsional mode of vibration shall not exceed 0 0.9 times the smaller. So the smaller value is 2.7. So 0.9 times 2.7 is 2.43, but T theta is 2.54 seconds. So that means T theta is greater than 2.543 seconds. So that means this is not a good thing. So we are not, uh, we are violating the clause, uh, uh, clause of the code. So how to do, what is the uh, uh, correction needed? So it simply says that uh, what we need to do is to reduce the 
torsion. So to reduce the torsion, so to, for reducing the torsion, we need to say uh, along x-axis, because this is smallest one, along x-axis, structure need to be made little more stiffer. So by revising the design, structure is more made little more stiffer. So 2.7 seconds in x direction is uh, uh, reduced to 2.55 seconds. Maybe by adding say, and like uh, uh, bracings or say structural walls or some treatment is done. And then along x direction structure is made more stiffer. Thereby what happens is if structure is more, made, more, made more stiffer in along one direction, it is not affecting the other direction, but it affects the torsion. Di torsion. So T theta also changed. So that means now T theta first mode in torsion is uh, 2.18 seconds. Now, even then, if we compare Tx1 and Ty1 in the revised design, so Tx1 is less than Ty1. So hence 0.9 times of Tx1, which is equal to 2.3. And here T theta is 2.18. So it is satisfying. T theta one is less than 2.3 seconds. So this is good. So what code says is, uh, torsional mode of vibration shall not exceed 0.9 times the smallest or smaller of the uh, uh, natural fundamental natural period into orthogonal directions. So this is an example. Now let's go to the next condition, 5.5.2. So what code says is the fundamental translational lateral natural period in any of the two horizontal plan directions shall not exceed eight seconds, considering the sectional properties as per table number six, corresponding to unfractured loads. So unfractured loads mean this is used usually for service loads. So now what code is saying is if it exceeds what? If say uh, by chance, if our structure is such that, if it exceeds what? Then it is called code exceeding structure. Say usually code exceeding structure means if the design is not adhering to the conditions given in say IS 16700-2017, maybe structure's height is say, uh, like uh, it is too tall, all those things. So then it is called code exceeding structure. Maybe expert literature may be uh, referred for designing that kind of structures. Now, again, it is uh, like a point here to understand what is the definition as per this code for tall buildings as also super tall buildings. So definition of tall building, what code says is a building of height greater than 50 meters, but less than or equal to 250 meters. So that means it is something around uh, 80, 85 floors uh, building. So that is up to 250 meters. Suppose if a building's height is say more than 250 meters, say, say 275 or 300, then it, it goes under the like, say super tall uh, building but that is called code exceeding structure because this code deals uh, up to from 50 meters up to 250 meters uh, height buildings. Okay. So the intention of this lecture, short lecture is to help students and practicing engineers, particularly uh, budding practicing engineers to understand IS code provisions in a better manner. So following references have been used in the preparation of these slides. So thank you.